Hello, and welcome to Elliott Wave Forecast Learning. Today, we're going to learn about Elliott Wave personality and characteristics. Elliott Wave theory is based on the idea that the price movements are driven by mass psychology, and this leaves a certain footprint on the price chart, which you can learn to recognize and profit from. Here are some key characteristics of Elliott Waves. Number 1. Wave 1, in most cases, is rarely obvious at the beginning. Most traders believe it's the continuation of the previous trend and is often considered as a correction. It is usually a fight between buyers and sellers, due to which it's often not clear in terms of Elliott Wave structure. Hence, technical analysts are not normally alerted at this stage. Number 2. Wave 2 corrects Wave 1, and as we learnt, it can never extend beyond the starting point of Wave 1. In most cases, it does not retrace more than 61.8%, or 76.4% of Wave 1. It usually takes the form of zigzag, flat, or double 3, and is never a triangle. Volume should be lower during Wave 2 than Wave 1. Number 3. Wave 3 is usually the largest and most powerful wave in a trend. It also can't be the shortest one. By Wave 3 midpoint, the crowd will often join the new trend. It usually extends to at least 1.618 Fibonacci extension of Wave 1 and could go up to 2.618 Fibonacci extension or more. It is usually the extended wave in a five-wave sequence. Number 4. Wave 4 is typically corrective. Fourth waves are often frustrating because of their lack of progress in the larger trend. Wave 4 does not overlap with the price territory of Wave 1, except in the case of a diagonal. It often takes the structure of flat, triangle, or irregular correction. We at Elliott Wave Forecast do not label a Wave 4 if it passes 50% Fibonacci retracement of Wave 3, unless it is a diagonal. Number 5. Wave 5 is the final leg in the direction of the dominant trend. The news is almost universally positive, and everyone is bullish. But this movement does not last for long, as a large corrective phase will follow the end of Wave 5. Internals of Wave 5 could be an impulse or an ending diagonal, which is an overlapping structure. Unfortunately, this is when many novice investors finally buy in, right before the top, and end up losing realized profits during the impulse sequence. Volume in Wave 5 is lower than in Wave 3, and many momentum indicators start to show divergences. We look for divergence in Relative Strength Index, RSI, in Wave 5. Here, we provided a good solid foundation for understanding the Elliott Wave theory. However, there's still more to learn on how to apply Elliott Wave for profitability. If you're interested in learning more about implementing wave analysis, please visit elliottwave-forecast.com or sign up for a 14-day trial.